Hey guys, it's Will with Military Lawn Cuts, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the five ways that you can automate your daily operations within your lawn care or landscaping business. Now, in this section, we're gonna break down five core categories that I believe are should be the main focal point when you're just getting started. So, the first one is going to be a CRM. Now, what does CRM stand for? It stands for Customer Relationship Management. I can't tell you how many other local landscapers I network with and see out there in the streets, mowing lawns, go up there, try to befriend them, and they're like, hey, I still use a pen and paper. And that, in today's society, is so old school. Like, if you want to get organized and you want to get efficient and you want to begin to start to automate things, you have to have a good CRM. There are three CRMs that I personally have used, which is Yardbook, Service Autopilot, and Copilot. Any one of those, I believe, if you're just getting started, probably Yardbook or Copilot, they have, I believe, free versions. I know Copilot has a free version, but so does um, Yardbook, I believe. Service Autopilot is a little bit advanced, so maybe if you're just getting started, probably not a good idea to jump into that one. But having a good CRM allows you to track the information of the customer, um, scheduling, billing. It really allows and opens the door for us to start to automate these next few categories. So number two is going to be accounting software. Now, accounting software is very important because when I first started my lawn care and landscaping business, we were just using a Excel spreadsheet. And although that's good, human error happens more often than we think. In fact, I would be willing to bet if we went back and tore apart the bank statements that I probably made a few mistakes. And one number that I'm calculating could throw off it tremendously of the profit and loss statements for the year. And there's a there's a good saying out there that says if you're not keeping uh, if you're not keeping score, how do you know you're winning the game? So it's really important to make sure that you're tracking your numbers. I find too many businesses that get just get started, they're not tracking where their money's spending, how much they're spending in advertising, how much is going to buying equipment for the trucks and things like that. We got to make sure that we have to um, automate this. Um, it's, it's, the thing that we use right now is QuickBooks, and it does fairly well. You can actually link your bank account to the software, so that way it literally tracks every transaction that goes through, and all you have to do is go in there and categorize it to make sure it falls under the right category. All right, number three is going to be billing and invoicing. Now, the billing and invoicing is going to be linked again to your CRM. That's why it's really important. This is like the basic, basically the foundation of all of these, most of these automations. But invoicing is really, really important. What you want to begin to do is start to automate things. So a good CRM will allow you to bulk bill your customers so that way you don't have to um, do them individually or charge cards individually. Now at our lawn care uh, company, we do require cards on file for all of our customers. So we can actually go through invoicing in three clicks and bill 50 people at once. Now when you're just getting started, that, sound, that may sound like, oh, that's a really cool feature, Will. I'm just trying to get my first 10 customers. Okay, that's great. However, I would recommend for you to start to automate that billing process and start to get in a system or a routine. Now, how do you do that? Well, maybe it's daily billing. At the end of your route, after you go out and you do your five, 10 customers, at the end of the day, you send them that invoice and you start to bill them each day. Or if you don't have the time to do it each day, maybe you do it once a week. But I will tell you, the sooner that you do it, the sooner you can uh, invoice them and get paid, the quicker you can get your cash flow and go reinvest it into your business to help you grow further and faster. If you wait to bill like a monthly, I wouldn't recommend it because now you may be cutting that customer for like four weeks and they may not pay you for another week or two 
And that's a six week delay on you getting your money for the service that you are conducting. All right, number four is going to be route optimization. And again, this is going to link back to your CRM. Now a good CRM will allow you to actually put all of your customers on a map for you to see and hopefully click one to two buttons. You checkbox all of those customers, you click optimize route, and it should list that in order for the fastest, quickest, most efficient way for you to go out and do the route. Now, in the beginning, again, if you only have five, 10 customers, not a huge deal. You can probably count them on one hand. You can probably just throw them into Google Maps. But as you begin to grow your business and scale and get more to like 15, 20, 25 customers, it begins to get a little overwhelming if you try to do this on a pen and pad paper. So route optimization will allow you to absolutely, uh, as you begin to scale, push those routes out for your team, for your crews, for yourself to be as quickly and uh, as automated as possible each day. The last and final automation that I would highly recommend is going to be equipment maintenance. This is very important when you are just starting out because if you let a mower go without changing the oil, that could be a big expense to your business. And when you're just getting started, every dollar counts. So you wanna make sure that you're putting those dollars towards something that's gonna actually help you grow your business, like marketing or sales or getting the estimates out. That's what's gonna help move your business forward. So how do we automate the equipment maintenance? What I would recommend, again, this is gonna be another one that the CRM will help with, However, if you don't have a CRM yet, what, I, what you can do is create a physical type of system or automation where maybe you get a whiteboard in your garage or uh, wherever your equipment is stored in your shop area and you just write down all of the equipment that you have and then uh, every month, you know, changing the oil on the mowers, maybe every week or every day, you're uh, blowing out the air filters, changing the blades, and really start to build some type of process so that way you can begin to track this. Now, if you do have a CRM like Copilot or Yardbook or Service Autopilot, if you're a little bit bigger, then what you can do is actually uh, send reminders to whoever is going to be managing that, which is likely going to be you, but you can have that automation set up where you get emailed every month on the uh, first of the month that says, hey, Oil changes need to be done on the mowers or at least checked to make sure that there is not a mower that's going too long to where it may burn out an engine because it didn't get an oil change. So these are the, probably in the beginning, the biggest five ways that I would strongly recommend to automate your business for your daily operations. And guys, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, share the video with someone that you think could bring value to them. Um, it could potentially change your future. So um, thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you guys next time.